Are you ready to witness the next giant leap in space exploration? Today, we're delving into the thrilling world of SpaceX and their Starship. Despite encountering hurdles, the buzz around this groundbreaking project is more electrifying than ever. In this episode, we're going to unravel the latest upgrades and tweaks SpaceX has in store for their Starship. But before we dive deeper, remember to hit that subscribe button for more updates on the Starship and all the other exhilarating developments from SpaceX. The recent completion of Starship's orbital test flight marks a significant milestone for SpaceX, paving the way for an ambitious 2024. This flight was crucial for identifying key areas of improvement, leading to over a thousand modifications in the Starship design. The focus has been on enhancing the spacecraft's performance, safety, and reliability, addressing the issues discovered during the first flight. The upcoming third flight test of the Starship is set to test these modifications under real-world conditions, serving as a crucial step in the spacecraft's development. SpaceX's ambitious roadmap for the upcoming years is set to elevate its mission profile dramatically. With a target of 144 missions next year, there's a notable uptick from this year's goals. While Falcon 9 remains a workhorse in this endeavor, the Starship is gearing up to play an increasingly significant role. For the next year, the plan includes integrating Starship into the mission schedule more prominently. Following the success of its recent flight, SpaceX anticipates up to four or five Starship launches. This frequency translates to approximately one Starship launch every two and a half months, a schedule that aligns closely with the timeline for NASA's Artemis III mission, where Starship's role is becoming more pivotal. Looking further into 2025, SpaceX aims to increase the launch frequency of Starship even more. The goal is to streamline the launch process, making it as routine as possible. This involves not only refining the technology, but also optimizing launch and recovery operations. The exact number of Starship launches planned for 2025 is still being finalized, but it's expected to surpass the frequency in 2024 significantly, reflecting SpaceX's growing confidence in the Starship system. Beyond 2025, SpaceX's vision for Starship becomes even more ambitious. The company envisions a future where Starship launches could become a regular occurrence, potentially happening as frequently as once a month or even more. This increased cadence is crucial for achieving SpaceX's long-term objectives, which include establishing a sustainable presence on the Moon, manned missions to Mars, and possibly beyond. To support this vision, SpaceX continues to invest in infrastructure and technological improvements. Among every mission planned for SpaceX's Starship program, the Artemis III mission, scheduled for late 2025 or early 2026, stands out as a crucial focus. This mission is significant for several reasons. Firstly, Artemis III is poised to be a historical landmark in space exploration. It's designed to return humans to the moon, including the first woman and the next man, after decades since the Apollo missions. This achievement will not only be a monumental step in lunar exploration, but will also rekindle humanity's interest and efforts in moon exploration. For SpaceX, this mission is a prime opportunity to demonstrate Starship's capabilities in a challenging environment. Successfully landing on and returning from the moon would validate Starship's design for future deep space missions, including potential crewed missions to Mars. A successful Artemis III mission would enhance SpaceX's standing as a leader in space technology and bolster its reputation as a reliable partner in global space initiatives. Moreover, Artemis III serves as a foundational mission for establishing a sustainable human presence on the Moon. In the lead-up to Artemis III, SpaceX will be focused on enhancing the Starship's performance through rigorous flight testing. These tests are essential to ensure the spacecraft's readiness for the demanding requirements of a lunar mission. Musk recently provided an update on the progress of SpaceX's Starship program, specifically regarding the hardware readiness for the third orbital flight test. In a social media post, Musk stated, Starship Flight 3 hardware should be ready to fly in three to four weeks, highlighting the rapid advancements SpaceX is making with the Starship program. He added that the necessary hardware is in final production. Further emphasizing the readiness of the spacecraft, 
Musk noted that there are three ships in final production in the high bay visible from the highway, indicating the scale and immediacy of SpaceX's preparations for the upcoming flight. Musk's announcement is further supported by the development of various prototypes. These include the S-26 tanker prototype and main prototypes like S-28, S-29, S-30, and S-31. In addition to these, booster prototypes such as B-10, B-11, B-12, and B-13 are currently undergoing assembly and testing. The potential for S-32 to reach final stack stages also underscores the rapid advancement SpaceX is making in its Starship program. A primary concern for SpaceX remains engine reliability. Musk himself acknowledged the difficulties in a November 26th email to SpaceX employees, describing the situation as a production crisis that was much worse than initially reported. The crisis was so severe that it led to a warning of potential bankruptcy if the issues couldn't be resolved, as they could impact the deployment of the next generation of Starlink satellites and overall company finances. The Starship vehicle uses six Raptor engines, while its Super Heavy booster currently requires 29 engines with plans to increase this to 33. The Raptor engine's production has been a bottleneck with Musk stating that the engine build rate is the biggest constraint on how many vehicles can be made. This challenge has created a production crunch as SpaceX plans a series of test flights of Starship aiming to enable commercial operations to begin. Musk highlighted the importance of achieving a high Starship flight rate for the company's financial stability. He mentioned a target of at least one flight every two weeks for the next year to avoid the risk of bankruptcy. This ambitious launch rate is crucial for deploying the second generation of Starlink satellites, which are vital for the company's financial strength. In addressing these challenges, SpaceX may consider significant overhauls to the Raptor engines. The development of new engines that address these reliability issues, potentially eliminating the need for heat shields, would represent a major step forward. This could include increased thrust and other enhancements to meet the demanding requirements of SpaceX's ambitious goals. The Raptor engine, a family of full-flow stage combustion cycle rocket engines, is a key component of the Starship system. These engines are powered by cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The Raptor engine boasts about triple the thrust of SpaceX's Merlin 1D engine, which powers the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles. Moreover, the Raptor engine is notable for being only the third engine in history designed to use a full-flow staged combustion cycle, and the first to actually power a vehicle. The Raptor engine's design also utilizes deep cryogenic propellants, cooled to near their freezing points, to increase propellant density and engine performance. This design choice enhances specific impulse and reduces the risk of cavitation at inputs to the turbopumps. Musk has revealed ambitious target performances for the Raptor, including a vacuum-specific impulse of 382 seconds and a chamber pressure of 300 bar. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.